Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Kendra with Cards by Kendra, and today I'm excited to share this Christmas giraffe card featuring Whimsy Stamps' Christmas giraffe stamp and their background stencil. I'm using some Distress Oxide inks to create my background, and to start with, I will be spraying the back of the stencil with some Pixie Spray, which is a low-tack adhesive, and this helps to hold the stencil in place. So I'm placing this on top of a piece of Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock that I've cut down to four and a quarter by five and a half, which I'll end up trimming down later. Um, but I took the stencil off because I wanted to make sure that the entire background was covered with the cream color first. So um, I, in hindsight, I could have used a sheet of, you know, ivory or light tan cardstock, but um, here I'm just gonna coat the entire thing so that when I place the stencil on top, I will have the brown spots. So now I'm adding some vintage photo and I'm using the scrapbook.com's domed foam applicators. These are um, by far my favorite way to ink blend. To me, that it works the best. Um, sometimes I do use blending brushes. It just depends on how detailed the stencil is. But for this, I'm using the domed foam applicators and I'm starting on the um, edge and I'm making the edge the darkest and I'm working toward the center and the center will, part will be pretty much covered up by the giraffe anyway. So now that I have the brown on there, it's time for my favorite part, the reveal. And um, I absolutely love the way this background looks. I really hate to cut it down. But moving on to the stamped portion of the card. I am using my Misty, which is a stamping positioner tool, and I've placed another piece of Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock, and I've placed my stamp directly on the plate, and I'm using some archival ink, and the reason I wanted to use archival ink is because I wanted to emboss it. To me, this kind of helps me to stay within the lines whenever I'm coloring this with Copic markers. So here I'm just coating this with some clear embossing powder, and then next I will be adding my heat tool so that it will give it that raised look. It's easier for me to do this than it would be to stamp it with some Versamark ink and then try to use some black embossing powder. So if you stamp it with Ranger Archival ink, it does stay wet long enough for you to add some clear embossing powder and get the same effect. Okay, so moving on to the Copic marker coloring. I started with E53, which is raw silk, and I have um, applied that around the edges, and then I colored it in with E51, which is milky white, and now I am um, adding E57, which is light walnut, to the outer portions of the spots, and um, then I'll be filling that in with some light camel, which is E55. And I'll have a list of all of the different Copic markers that I've used along with all the other supplies that I've used to make this card in the description box below in case you're interested. So now I'm just going back over all of the spots and making them just a little bit darker using that E57 marker. Um, next, I'll be taking my colorless blender and applying this to the little areas that I accidentally went outside the lines because I tend to do that <laughs> sometimes. And now I am coloring the hat. For the hat, I started with R22, which is a light pink. Usually I work darkest to lightest, but for this, I started with the lightest color first. Next, I added R22. I believe this is R24 um, and I accidentally went into the white part of the hat so here I'm trying to push that back in with my colorless blender and then for the darkest part of the red I used R46 
and I'm taking that same R46 and just going over every other light because I wanted my lights to be green and red. And I'm trying my best to get just the outside of each light bulb and then I'm filling in the centers with that light color, the R22. So now I am using, I believe this is YG17 for the green and then for the center part is YG13 for the other light bulbs. And now I am taking N0 and coloring in the very ends of those light bulbs. So for the hooves, I started with N6 and I just outlined the outer edge and then I'm taking N2 and just kind of coloring those in. And I decided the N N2 wasn't quite dark enough, so I went in with N4. Now for the white parts of the hat, I'm actually coloring this with N0, which is a neutral gray. It still looks white, but it allows me to kind of push those um, accidental red spots back into where they where it needs to go. It allows it to move a little bit. So here I just decided to fussy cut this out because um, I wanted to show as much of that pretty background as possible. So now that I have this all cut out, I'm taking that same milky white color, which is the lightest shade of the giraffe skin, and I'm just kind of filling in where those light strands kind of wrap around the body because I don't want any of the white to stand out. And now I'm just taking my black Copic marker and running it along the edges. So I didn't want my giraffe to just be sitting on the background. I wanted it to stand out a little more. So I decided to use my oval dies and I'm cutting out a piece um, out of this lime green cardstock. And as you can see here, I am trying to get my brand new Distress Oxide ink in Rustic Wilderness open. And I tried and tried, y'all, I tried for like 15 minutes. So I took it to my son, he couldn't get it open. Then I took it to my, my husband and guess what he did? He broke it. Yep, so that piece is stuck permanently in there, but hopefully it won't dry out on me. So I'm, I love the ombre effect. Um, I got this idea from Sierra with CRT Designs. She did this on one of her Christmas cards. She took colored cardstock and then started with a darker shade and kind of worked away that worked toward the middle. And I really liked how that looked. So um, I wanted to use this rustic wilderness color because it's brand new. I just got it. And I really like the way this looks. And I thought that it kind of tied in the colors of green on my giraffe too. Now, I originally thought about putting my giraffe on a black oval but then I decided I wanted to layer it. So I'm just placing this on top of one that I'd already cut out. And because I have the black, I'm gonna be using these sentiment strips from Simon Says Stamp. Now I uh, should have cut this the other way because now it's like really difficult for me to trim this top piece out. And I think, yep, I got it crooked. So I ended up using the next one down, one that says Happy Christmas. And I just kind of snipped off the end and I'm gonna be placing that as basically what the giraffe is gonna be standing on. So if you're not familiar with sentiment strips, one really cool thing that I just recently learned is that because they're made with toner, you can actually run them through your mink machine with some foil and make them any color you want. So I thought that that was really neat and I'm excited to actually try that on my next card. So um, I originally thought I was gonna do a frame, a black frame, but I just decided to make my card base um, be black so that I didn't have to trim down my background more. But here I'm just um, scoring it on both sides so that whenever I fold it, I don't have that crease. Um, and now I'm just gluing everything down with some Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. I say this in every one of my videos, Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive is my favorite liquid glue because it gives me just enough time to put everything where I want it and it dries clear in case any of it seeps out. And because I glued my giraffe down flat, I wanted to give this card a little bit of dimension. So since I'm popping up my sentiment with some foam tape, I decided to run the black Copic marker along the edges. And here I'm just adding a foam strip to the back and trimming this off so that it, the white doesn't stick out. And um, I want to add a little bit of sparkle. So I decided to use some Stickles glitter glue on the white parts of the hat. And then also I'm gonna be adding some Nouveau Glow Drops to the star. 
and then I've decided to use some Nuvo Crystal Drops in Morning Dew, which dries clear, and I'll be adding that to all of the light bulbs. And this is my finished card. I really hope you like it. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. I read every single one and I appreciate all of my subscribers. If you're not already a subscriber, please make sure you click on that subscribe button down below and turn on those notifications. You can also find my work on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest at Cards by Kendra. And I also have a website, cardsbykendra.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch this video and I hope you have a wonderful day.